Nurse TV, brought to you by HESTA and the Australian Nursing Federation. I'm responsible for the, the health and wellbeing of all these people on site 24 hours a day. So not just during the work hours, I'm also responsible after hours. So I am on call, I don't actually work in the clinic, but I am on call so they know that they can contact me um, if they have any accidents or incidents or someone's extremely ill in the middle of the night. Um, I'm also responsible for running the medical centre. I do all my own ordering of drugs and um, purchasing of equipment um, and maintaining the medical records as well as well as um, safety records. Um, also responsible for training, we do first aid training on the site, uh, as well as safety inductions and those sorts of things. So it's a fairly vast role. The ambulance that we've got out here on site, it's a four wheel drive ambulance, and also it's got an underground registration. So in the event of an emergency, or if we need to go and get somebody out from underground, we can actually take it underground. Um, we've got a communications radio so that we can communicate with other people on the site and all the people in the vehicles and we've also got a satellite phone in it. We also keep our underground gear in the ambulance so that if we need to go down in an emergency we've got everything ready. Out here we're, um, where there, we're a lot of roles in one. We're a nurse, uh, we do safety as well, um, as well as we can become the physio, the OT, the grief counsellor, the marriage counsellor, anything that, that, that the guys want. It's a role that um, is about I'd say 10 to 20 percent nursing, actual hands-on nursing. There's a lot of health promotion, proactive safety involved in it as well, as well as actually getting out into the workplace and auditing the area, um, talking to the employees and just actually helping to prevent accidents before they occur because we don't want to be 100 percent nursing fixing up people after the accidents occurred. We want to prevent the accident from the first place so that's our main role. We're in a refuge chamber in the west decline part of the mine We've got two refuge chambers underground in this mine and they fit up to about eight to ten people in them. They've got water, um, blankets, oxygen, air from the surface being compressed down as well, as well as first aid kits which is our responsibility to come down and, and check them and make sure they're fully stocked. And we just keep general things like um, bandages, big large dressings, um, slings, a little first aid book in case if somebody's not sure what to do, gloves, um, band-aids. Um, eye streams to wash out eyes or wash out wounds or whatever, and burn dressings, the sort of things that you'll come across a, either a burn or an inhalation or a, a graze from a rock fall or something like that. So we come down now um, once a swing, which is once every, every fortnight, and have a look at this and do an inspection. This is where I live on the mine site. It's a small room, nice little ensuite room. All the rooms on the mine site are like that. Everyone um, get one, gets one from the company. Company pays for all my food and all my board. It's part of my salary package for working out here on the mine. Um, we get a single bed in each room and we've also got an ensuite around the corner and you can make it, bring up your own stuff and make it whatever you want. Best part about the room is we've got, I've got my own TV, you bring your own TV onto site and we've got 10 TV channels, so that includes three video channels, so they play videos practically non-stop all evening, as well as we get some really good stations like SBS and we've got um, satellite TV as well. I start work at 6 o'clock in the morning, um, I work a 12 hour shift, so I open up the medical centre at 6 and I make sure I'm always here between 6 and 7 when I run a clinic, so I'll get people in that have got the coughs and the colds, the flus, the, so the rashes. Uh, those sorts of things, plus people that I might have treated the day before that I want to review will come in in those hours as well. Um, then I have meetings to attend at around se between 7 and 8 o'clock where I go along to a meeting and I'll advise management um, about what sort of accidents and incidents we've had and they also like to know who's actually been off sick on site. I won't tell them what sort of illness they've got but I'll let them know who's not on site and who's not at work that day. Um, then. The medical centre is always open for the 12 hours but then I go more into my safety role or my, maybe my health promotions role, I might attend a safety meeting, talk about either a safety issue or a health issue. Um, at the moment we're running sort of a manual handling thing because we've had so many um, back injuries that we're teaching people about um, correct lifting techniques as well as exercises to do to strengthen themselves up. Um, that'll take me up till the afternoon and then I'm open again from 5 to 6 as a clinic time where people can come with their normal GP type issues, which they do. So here we are in the clinic. It's not an um, extremely big medical centre, but it's just mainly for first aid treatment and in the event of an emergency. We've got a bed for one person. Um, it's not like a hospital bed, but we can tilt it up and down. It's just really a treatment bed. Um, we keep 
um, all our blood pressure equipment and ophthalmoscopes, um, glucometer, all that sort of stuff ready handy on a tray. And we also have all our blood taking equipment here in, in this um, drawer here. So everything's handy to us. It's a long day, but it's, it's an interesting day. I get to drive around. I've been out to remote communities. Um, whereas in the hospital, you're just stuck on a ward or in your, in your area for, for eight to 10 hours. And that's what you do. You look after six or seven patients. Whereas here, I've got 260 different people um, with different problems and things that they come in and see me about. Um, you know, we've got a fair amount of drugs. Most things like what you've got in the hospitals, we've got antibiotics, we've got um, jelly beans for people that give blood. Um, we also keep cold and flu type things as well, as well as we do have a problem out here with rashes and things like that. So we keep a lot of um, creams and those sorts of things. You need to have exceptional skills to be in a workplace like this. We're the first line for the people and the only real serious medical person on site. We do have backup people, but they, they've usually only got first aid or occupational first aid at the most. So these guys on site here solely rely on you and your skills. Um, and in the event of an emergency, you need to be able to assess that person properly. You need to be able to put in IVs. You might need to have to suture. Um, you need to make good sound clinical judgments. So you need to be extremely experienced and have done quite a bit of nursing in the hospitals and worked under people so that you've got you know, exceptionally good clinical judgment and, and good clinical skills. Um, I make the decision, I decide what I'm going to give them and how I'm going to treat them and then I'll make the follow up as well. Whereas in the hospital they come in, they go out, you don't see them again. Here I see the guys every day to review them and then I might see them a couple of weeks later and catch up with them and ask them how they're going as well. When I first transferred over here from Kajabup in December we had a different chef than what we've got now, Jock. Um, and the food was a lot more into the deep fried type things. And the worst thing was at breakfast time they were putting out things like sausages and bacon and squid rings and chips and dim sims and things like that. So I reviewed the um, menus with the chefs and also with the P&O um, caterer and said, look, you know, for my role from health promotion, health prevention of you know, cholesterol and things that we're trying to do on the mine site, can we cut out the fried foods at breakfast and still put out, yes, the sausages and bacon, but they've got a bigger variety now. They've got cereals and yoghurt and fresh fruit in the morning, as well as the traditional buffet, but not so many fried foods. It's a very challenging role. I think it's probably the best nursing position that I've had in my seven years of nursing. Um, you know, I've done a bit of surgical and running a clinic and um, accident emergency, but this is the best job that I've ever had so far. I'm a female out in the middle of nowhere with 260 guys, what the hell am I doing here? But I love this type of work and um, I can't get this type of work in Perth and I, fi I found the, bo the hospital system a little bit boring after I'd been there for seven years and I really needed a challenge and this is a challenge. Definitely do your, do your degree, do your, po do your postgraduate year in the, in the hospital where you, um, you know, do your, your first year of training after you're out in the hospital. But then get yourself into somewhere like accident and emergency where you can get good clinical skills and you need to stay there a couple of years and, and get in and do everything that the doctors will let you do. Don't just stand back and watch because when you come to an area like this, you can't stand back and watch. You're the person that's going to have to put that IV in or do those sutures or whatever. So get in there and, and get as much hands-on skills as you can and then maybe do some follow-up courses, maybe do a grief counselling course or some sort of counselling course or if you're interested in knock health and safety, go on and do some sort of knock health and safety course because all that you can do whilst you've got that chance of being in the hospitals is better because once you come here, you don't use all those skills as often as you would in the hospital. So, you know, you don't get the chance to do a lot of things but one day you might need to do that, that thing so that's the best way to approach it.